so many ups and downs emotionally, I imagine, in that game. I mean, to come out with a win and when there's just so many things that could have gone better, is it, what kind of feeling is that? I feel like we just, <clears throat> excuse me, just getting the win is happy. Like, we, we know that it was some ups and downs, like you said, in the game. But just being able to overcome those up and downs and finish out the game, which is something that we struggled with last year, just being able to finish and not showing how much that we grow, how much we grew over the, over the, over the off season, and just something that we're still working on as a team. What was the difference in quarter one and two through overtime? You guys look like a different team out there. I feel like we started slow as a defense, but um, I feel like that we just overcame that, and just continue pushing. We have a next play mentality on this team, and that's something that we just showed tonight that we want to just be able to keep playing, and that's something that we did just from quarter one to quarter two and throughout the game. There was a lot of talk after the first game about zero sacks on the stat sheet. Mm -hmm. Just how rewarding was it to come out and get hits and pressures and, and sacks mm -hmm. on the quarterback oh, all was, night long? It was, just, it was very rewarding. We understood that we just um, had to come out here with a chip on our shoulder and be able to affect the quarterback, get hits, knock down balls, anything like that. And I feel like that we took a step tonight doing that. We just got to continue to get better at that every week. How about your performance tonight? I know you haven't watched film yet, but it seemed like you were in the back of the fight. Now, I feel like I just um, tried to play vertical, which is what Coach G wants, tried to play physical. We knew their offensive lines were off the line, well coached. We knew it was, they was going to be physical. They knew we was gonna do, they was going to know some of the things that we do. But we just continue to play hard, play physical, and play on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Well, it tipped uh, passes at the line of scrimmage tonight. A couple from you and a lot from, from others. Kind of, you know, was that something you saw on film? Was that just good repetition? What went into that? Oh, uh, we just, um, that's something that we practice all the time, no matter what. Just practicing getting our hands up, practicing <laughs> stripping the ball out, recovering fumbles, just different things like that. Just turnover circuit. And that's something that we continue to work on every week. After, after Trey Flowers, up the punt. What was he saying to the other guys? What were guys saying to him? Because obviously he had a big play at the end. We told, we told Trey just um, next play mentality. Everybody make mistakes. Everybody, something don't go your way. It's up and down in the game. And we told Trey just to play the next play. And that's what he did. He showed up. He showed out. He had a big play at the end to help us seal the game. What, what was his demeanor after that? Oh, well, I mean, Trey, Trey's the type of guy, he's going to always pick his head up. No matter what the situation is, he's going to be a leader. He's going to be positive. So when that happened, it, it, it was no blink of an eye for him. He just continued to be himself and just continued to push through it. Omari, how nice was it that, you know, y'all hear, hear so much about the offense and how fast it is and how much points you put up. I mm -hmm. mean, but today it was about y'all making a lot of defensive stands. How rewarding is that for the defense? Right. It, it's, it's good to hear it, uh, but we love to hear about the offense. I know the <laughs> offense love to hear about us. You know, we love to put up points and we love to stop people from putting up points. So it's all working together and just something that we do well. Just continue to get better with every week. We pull for them, they pull for us. What's you think last about? year y'all win this game? I mean, you, you fumble twice in the second half, you have a punt block, and y'all still pull this thing out. Like I said, um, I feel like we've grown a lot since last year. I can't say we win or lose, you know, but I say we've grown a lot over the off season this year. Do you think you're more resilient with, inside of games now than you were a year ago? I feel like I just um, adjusted more to the game. The game slowed down for me, and I really understand and getting a chance to see formations, key in on film, key in on blocks that I'm getting, different things like that. And just under Coach G, pushing me every day to be better than what I am now. And just, like two more? Just being a better player. What was the celebration like in the locker room? Oh, it was fun. Everybody happy. Everybody dancing around and stuff like that. It's just fun to just get a win on the road. We're going to go back home. Did Chuck have any moves? <laughs> no, nah, he didn't have no moves tonight. He was chilling today. One more. What's different about Aaron Beasley this year? Aaron Beasley, Aaron Beasley he's just a great player. He's being more of a leader this year. He's just really locked in on what we're doing as a team. And he's just it's showing. It's showing that he's a great player. He's showing that he can help us. And he's going to help us. And he... Play it well tonight. Thanks, Amari. Thanks, Amari.